If you buy cheap, you buy twice, correct? But what if cheap is actually enough? Now, I'm guilty of ignoring my own advice, uh, often buying a couple of cheap things before I end up springing up the dough for the thing that I actually wanted in the first place. I'm especially guilty of this with lenses. <laughs> but just like some people don't need a fast weather sealed lens or a high-end mirrorless camera, plenty of budding photographers don't need a, an Italian, American or Canadian carbon fiber tripod with a thousand dollar ball head on it. For some people, this is enough. This is the small rig AP02 aluminium travel tripod. And it's got a couple of interesting features up its sleeve. Now you might know small rig for their camera cages, their L brackets, their rigs, handles, and mat boxes, but they also make lights and microphones and lens control systems and tripods. Now I've used their rigs, brackets, and cages and mounts for years. I'm using one right now. Uh, for this microphone that I'm talking into. And their quality and value has always appealed to me. And so when they asked me if I'd like to play with their new travel tripod, I said, sure. Now, I'm not a professional gear reviewer by any stretch. I would gladly swim across an ocean of thumbtacks just to be eclipsed by the long shadow cast by the likes of Gerald Undone, Jared Pollan, uh, Hugh Brownstone, and a bunch of other product reviewers. I'm just not in that league. But what I can tell you is from a practical real world experience, what I think of something compared to other things that I've used. And given the fact that I'm a bit of a tripod aficionado, well, not really that much, given the fact that I've owned a number of tripods and I do appreciate good tripods, I think I'm reasonably qualified to talk about this lovely little piece of engineering from Small Rig. Okay, let's look at some of the specs. First off, it weighs 1.15 kilos or 2.53 pounds, and it can carry up to eight kilos or 17 and a half pounds. Now that's impressive considering my Canon R5 with the beastly RF 100 to 500 attached weighs less than two and a half kilos. So it can carry another five and a half kilos on top of that. It's made of quality aluminum alloy with a light dusting of what feels like high quality plastics for the leg levers. Packed away, it's just 53 centimetres tall, and most importantly, it's only five centimetres in diameter, which seems to be quite a bit thinner than the class-leading Peak Design travel tripod. It'll shoot as high as 159 centimetres and as low as 43 centimetres, although you can very quickly invert the centre column, which allows you then to shoot right down to ground level. In terms of the fit and finish, look, typical of small rig products, everything seems to be very precisely machined and very precisely screwed together. It feels like, like a quality piece of kit. The ball head I especially like, it feels extremely uh, strong and it grips the ball very, very well. Um, I don't think you're going to have any problem with the ball head drifting or sagging. Uh, the pano movement is smooth. The center pole, like I mentioned, is very, very quick to invert, which I really like. Uh, the fittings all feel like high quality. The levers, um, the three levers on each leg, uh, snap into place nice and firmly, and they feel very positive. They feel well made. Another interesting feature is the uh, the feet, where the little rubber grommets on the feet can be easily popped off to reveal nice high quality spikes, which is great in soft ground. In terms of extensibility, it's got screw fittings on the top of each leg, so you can attach items like a monitor or another microphone, smartphone, uh, whatever it is, a GoPro, that kind of stuff, if you want to do some additional stuff while you're shooting. Overall, I think this is a great little tripod. I really do. And Small Rig has proven over the last few years that they can make very high quality products at really affordable prices. It makes it very hard to justify spending, you know, double or triple the money on more exotic brands. So kudos to Small Rig for producing something of this quality for such a cheap price. And speaking of price, it retails for 139 US dollars, or if you're in Australia, about 210 Australian dollars. I reckon that's extremely good value considering the sort of obvious tripod to compare it to uh, being the Peak Design aluminium travel tripod retails for about 600 Australian dollars and the carbon fiber one about a thousand Australian dollars. Now I love my Peak Design tripod but 
you don't need it. You don't need it. If you're after a compact, lightweight, well-made travel tripod, I reckon this little small rig AP02 is a brilliant piece of kit. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is if you position the, uh, the pano rotation to a point where the lever is available to your left hand, then the screw adjustment for the pano ends up being away from you and behind the tripod. It would be nice if one was on the left and one was on the right so that either way you had easy access to both rather than this 90 degree positioning of the two items. A couple of other things I didn't mention, the plate at the top is Arca Swiss compatible, which is really important. If you've got L brackets, that sort of stuff, or your own plates already on your cameras, they do include an Arca Swiss quick release plate with the tripod, which is great. And and the, uh, the plate also has a bubble level at the top of it and the screw adjustment for the Arca Swiss plate also has a bubble level. So you've got uh, bubble levels on two planes, which is great. So overall, I reckon this small rig tripod is extremely good value. It's very well made, it's beautifully finished. It's like everything else that small rig makes. Um, the manufacturing tolerances are very tight. Everything looks beautifully made. The attention to detail is high. And considering the fact that, you know, it's nearest, I wouldn't say competitor, but the obvious thing to compare it to, the Peak Design Travel Tripod, considering that's over $600 Australian, at $200 for this, this is incredible value. And I think that it's not just suitable for budding amateurs who are just getting into photography. I think for uh, somebody who wants a compact travel tripod and is vacillating between something like the Ulanzi Zero, or the Peak Design, I think this is definitely a worthy alternative and you should definitely give it some consideration. Anyway, that's a highly recommended from me from this very unprofessional and unscientific review. Thanks for watching. See you next time.